So what, tell me what's changed since then. Well, obviously I'm older. <laughs> <laughs> um, you don't look any different to me. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was just moving from, wow, seeing that to the very first multi pallet lights out running machine, thinking back to when we first were looking at that, thinking, this is not going to work, this is not going to work, how can it work? To now, we are predominantly lights out multi pallet, um, and the, the plan for the next three or four years is to, to swap more single spindle, single pallet, for more multi pallet machines. And, and it's just, you know what, it's nice to sit at home and think, oh, I'm making money. It's a great thing to, yeah. to think that way. And obviously with the RIM software, you can control that. So when your guys say, yeah, yeah, it was running all night, I can come in, look at the RIMs and say, oh yeah, it was running at two o'clock this morning. Yeah. And, it, and, it, and that just gives you that confidence to, to invest more and do more with it. Um, but yeah, just so weird to, to see it. And, and I said, to, you know, at that point there, we were quite newbies to it and, and rather nervous thinking, have I done the right thing here? You know, um, but yeah, obviously now, as you'll see, it's, it's totally the right thing. We're here at RNG Precision in Northamptonshire. And I've got to say, this is a story that the whole of industry must listen to because Four years ago, I was in this machine shop and this particular area here, there wasn't a machine. They were on the outside. Now, it's a sea of blue machines. Enzo, you've gone on quite a journey. It's been a journey and a half. Um, I was just thinking actually, because I knew obviously you were coming in this morning and thinking back to that very first video we did back in 2020, where I was like, oh my God, what have I done? I've got this big investment. Lights out, what's it all about? Is it going to work? Look, it has worked. It's obvious it's worked. And it's a journey that I am so glad that I started. And it's exciting. And it, it gives me a good future vision on where the company's going and the lights out. And oh, it, I don't know where to start, basically. Yeah, That's I, like... I think this interview <laughs> might be long for that very reason. But it's fine. Right. Lights out, you were nervous. What what was it that you learned back then? Well, I did a lot of research as into the lights out and once I knew I wanted to go there, what are the risks? What are the what are the pros? What are the cons? Obviously the pros are running components with no one here, um, multi setup, you've uh, and all of that. The, the, the cons are making sure you've got the the process right. You could have tool breakages, you can have blockages, you could have uh, coolant issues, you could have tool, everything where you so need So many to, variables. So many variables. And that was what was my worry. You know, how do you go? Do you start slowly and then build up? Do you go in all the way to the top? And it's just learning from that first machine, taking your time to get to a complete lights out which then gives you that confidence to say, right, okay, know what I'm doing now. But it's every job you do, you have to prove out during the day, two to three weeks, just keep running it, keep running it, keep running it. Then you then go, right, ready to swap over to Lights Out. And that's what we did. Eight machines. Eight We've machines. Eight, yeah. Matsura machines. eight Matsuras. You started off, which was the first machine? The very first one was, yeah, the, the 450 that's in the corner. It's still running. Um, and it was investing in a company that we'd never done before um, and a certain salesman that we know who um, it's, it's never gives up but he's always there to help you um, and he was pushing me for lights out pushing me pushing me and we did it and uh, and obviously that's how we we've ended up with eight machines so what machines have you gone for because i know two years ago in 22 we were doing an interview on the 330s but you changed so the 330s were working for you what happened so the, the 330s were bought because of the work that we had at the time. Um, lots of repeat work, smaller, small to medium components. Um, and we, we thought that the, the, the 330 was a machine for that. Um, we then bought the second one because that kind of work increased. And then I had a, a question from Dominic saying, right, okay, why 330 again? Obviously a salesman would say, yeah, I'll save you another one. 
at Y330 again. Let's have a look at what parts you've got. And we'll talk about if you're doing the right thing or whether you need to go a different model. So we sat down, I showed him the portfolio parts that were coming and instantly he said, no, ma'am. Um, and we did that and I ordered the ma'am and it's, and it's quite right, it worked. Um, and that's the relationship we've got with Matsura now, having them as a, a technical partner. We've gone to, got to a point now where I'm looking at the portfolio of parts coming up and they tell us, sorry Enzo, not MX, ma'am. And that's the kind of relationship and that's the kind of service they give you and, and, and it works so well. You've got a contract in place now. Yeah. You obviously fulfilled part of that contract because of your Matsuras initially. Tell us what's happened now. Where are you with this so company? So the contract that we, we bought the MXs for is, is completely separate to the contract that's come. So that's that, that first contract's been running now for four years, keeps running, repeat parts, and we just run 50, 100 every month. The other contract that we've had to invest with the other five Matsuras is a, an aerospace contract that we've won that's 15 years, so it runs until 2035. Um, and that's the contract that I sat with Dominic and said, right, you need to advise me if I'm doing the right thing MX or we need MAM or whatever other machine you model. You lent on them that much. Yeah. And it and it's I'm so glad I did because I was going to go MX all the way, everything, and, and they've changed my path. And then we've got a, a, a MAM 35 and a MAM 63. And it's because it's given me that size difference as well. Um, the 63, I can do the bigger parts if they come in, but also do a smaller part. Um, and then obviously the MAM um, multi-pallet, you can do whatever part you want on that. And it's, and it's just no downtime. I, I, I can't, I just feel excited talking about yeah, it. I'm no, sorry. I love it. So no downtime, let's talk about this. What, what's changed for you? So obviously, when you've got one spindle, one man, you set the part up, everyone has to prove out, it goes in inspection. If your inspection department is busy, that machine's waiting. Because you're not going to say, oh, I'm going to put something else in there, because it's taken you so long to set up. With the Matsuras, you can put a job in for first off, and then say, okay, I'm going to put pallet eight, pallet nine, pallet 10, that's got a proven job, it's passed off, while it's in there, you set your pallet up on there and you run it. And there's no downtime. There's no downtime. I can't, I can't explain it. I come in and I'm going from where you used to come around and go, that, that, that spindle stop, that spindle stop, that's been, it's like, yeah, they're all running all the time. 